I'm back with another update on the NBA uh-huh. and uh, trades and free agency and stuff like that. Major, major, major woes bomb just dropped. Um, <laughs> at, we were we were recording uh, a lot of the, the clips that we would missed in the past few days. And we just decide like this popped up as we were on this this uh, Zoom call, and we were like, we have to talk about this right now because it dropped literally went, like right after we filmed the first clip. So the Hawks are sending three future first round picks, a future pick swap, and Danilo Gallinari to the Spurs for Dejounte Murray. So Trent, wow. My question is, who? who wins this trade maybe we can go who wins it now who wins it down the road uh talk talk to me talk to me initial reactions well i um i'm gonna be honest i i was sitting here pondering this entire trade like what is going on with this with this trade um i'm kind of in shambles because i'm a huge Dejounte murray guy I was yeah, he's I love probably the, Murray. he's probably the most underrated point guard in the NBA. Um and I think hey all star reserve last year. But but because someone got injured. Yeah, that's true. He that's he, true. he filled in for he was there because Draymond got hurt. Yeah. And the fact that Draymond was even an all star was just like, Are you serious? My, are you serious, my brother? No. Like, come on. <laughs> like, come on. That like that's just that shows that I think that goes to show how underrated he really is. But now he's in Atlanta with Trey Young and John Collins and Clint Capella. Like they don't have to give up anything but Gallinari and and a bunch of picks, which the Hawks are obviously in look, we're in win now mode. We made the playoffs past two yeah. years. We can do this. But and the, the Spurs only... are kind of in a rebuild mode because they had they were so good for so long and now they're just kind of they're drafting young guys, they're building those guys up. Uh, they just drafted I think three times this this draft in the first yeah, round. Yeah, they had they drafted the Blake ninth. Wesley. They drafted they got Sohan uh, from Baylor. Sohan and then Malachi Branham as well. Yeah, and that's so, all the first round, which is yeah. I think a decent draft because because they all the Spurs have always drafted for potential. That's why they reached with Primo last year. That's why they got yeah. Sohan at nine. I like, had Primo going in the early mid second round last year, but he had a lot of upside and they drafted yeah. him with the 29th pick. Exactly. Yeah, like, like that's, pick, something like that. So. Right. And you know, it's, it's, and I think, and I think with uh, Victor, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Uh, when Banyama for next year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so with him coming in, I think the Spurs are trying everything they can to try to get him. The tank. Um, and- <laughs> so th- that's why I'm kind of conflicted because I don't think it's a bad trade. If that's if that's what they're trying to do, then this is I, a good trade for them. I don't think that anybody like, except for the teams that are like really low at the bottom. Like you've got your Magic, you've got your Thunder, you've got you know like like guys that are like that. I don't think the th- at this point the Thunder. There's no. I don't think there's any way they're that low in the draft again this year. Uh, the just Thunder, because yeah. Um, yeah but, well, well, I guess we'll see. But my my thing is is that like unless you're that low, I don't think that you're going to be tanking that low to get Victor one Benny or scoot Henderson, who also was like averaging 16, 17 points a game this year as a 17 year old in the G league, which is kind well, of wild. Victor's got to be the number one pick. No, he ab- absolutely. It's Victor and then scoot <laughs> Henderson. But- okay. Well, the, the, I, 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 this is based, this, this is going to be an interesting, interesting NBA season because we're going to see who wants to win a championship and who wants to draft Victor. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. I don't. I feel like if you do anything in between that, then you're underachieving. Yeah, um, you're just, but well, you're the definition of mid. Fact. Yeah, yeah. So, no, the, so the 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 interesting thing about this trade for me and my perspective is that we're looking the spur. I think the Spurs win this trade in the future, and the Hawks win this trade in the now, and. At, I, which I think in general that means it's a good trade uh, because I think the Spurs are trying to rebuild. Uh, they don't want to hang on to DeJounte Murray. I just got an update for the trade. The specific picks that the Hawks are sending are the 2023 first-round pick via Charlotte okay, and then their own picks for 25 and 27. And the Spurs will also get a pick swap for 2026. Okay. So Interesting. Yep. 
Yeah. So, so yeah. okay. Um, yeah. So with the Hawks, like they were, were they the eight seed this year? Hawks were, they won the, they, they, um, they were like ninth, they were ninth or something. And they beat, they ended up beating Cleveland in the oh, last playing I, I, game I to get, I know. Oh, I'm sorry. I just had to rub it in. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. How the Bulls do this season? We were better than the Hawks. Okay, okay, and yeah, Cleveland. yeah, yeah. Well, you still lost in the first round, so that's we great. made the playoffs, David. We yeah, made sh- the playoffs. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. We all ended in the uh, same uh, spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Back to the dude. This, I'm like I said, I'm conflicting this trade because one, the Spurs don't even have a guaranteed shot at getting Victor. Two, how how Will DeJounte and Trey Young make this work? Because they're both point guards. So DeJounte will have to slide to the two. And they are two. DeJounte Murray is not, he is not a capable ball, ball shooter kind of yet. Guard. He is not a capable shooter. So he can't just sit there and be a catch and shoot guy. Because we all know Trey Young is the most effective with the ball in his hands. He led the league in points and assists last year. Like how, how is, how are they going to be able to play off of each other? Yeah. So that's what's interesting. And I, like I said, I think, I think we will be surprised at how how good that backcourt will actually be. Um, you know, like I, I think DeJounte will be more of a scorer this year than playmaker because yeah. Trey Young is going to be the playmaker. And you know, he can also make plays for Trey Young as well. Like he can right. like, like both of those guys can really play off of each other. I think it's gonna be interesting because I I I do agree with your point that they're two ball dominant guys that like to have the ball in their hands. However, mm-hmm. I think it works better solely because um, Dejounte Murray is arguably the best, def- uh, well, the second best defensive guard in the league. Who's one Holiday? No, Marcus Smart. Mm. He- he's depoy, bro. I'm sorry. Not deserving. I'm sorry. All right, we'll we'll talk about something like that <laughs> later on a podcast or something like that. But yeah, so just bombshell. I think the the Gallinari's nice for the Spurs. I can see that man in a Spurs uniform. I just can't. He is he is a definition of a San Antonio Spurs player. He's yes. not only is he not American, but he's white. He, he, <laughs> he shoots the ball. The only thing that he's a white shooter from another country. He literally. Yeah. He's uh, Manu 2.0. Manu 2. <laughs> yeah, so I, I like the trade for both sides because the Hawks uh, go into win-now mode. They're trying to capitalize on making the playoffs this year and get better as a team. Uh, we'll see what happens with John Collins. I don't know if John Collins ends on this team because uh, I think he wants to, a trade, but maybe getting DeJounte Murray convinces him to stay. So I don't know. I think, I think the fact that the Hawks did not trade John Collins means they're not trading him at all because – I mean, to, to steal DeJount, to bait, I wouldn't call it a steal because the Spurs, obviously, like I said, they're trying they got to three get three first round picks out of it. Yes. And they are obviously clearly trying to get Victor. So I think. I don't think they're trying to get. I think they are. I, 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 dude, the Spurs are a smart enough franchise to realize that they aren't contenders. And when you have, when you have someone of Victor's talent coming in like this, which. He he is probably he's the best draft prospect we've seen in a while. Obviously, we said about Zion, you know, and and you know Andrew Wiggins and stuff like that. But like, like he's he's easily the best overseas prospect we've seen in a very long time. And he might he might be the best prospect we've seen since the the two thousand and three draft. Yeah, Darko Milicic for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. No, but- so, so I thank you guys for tuning in uh, with us. And uh, like I said, we're going to be doing this, this entire season of trades and off season signings and whatever it may be. Uh, so keep posted and uh, we'll be back with you guys soon.